Welcome everyone, Mike Pinnon with the Edwards Air Force Base Fire Prevention Section. I'm excited today to talk to you about a new piece of equipment that we have for our public education program. And we're going to give you a demonstration and show you how it works. Okay, so what we have here to, to start off is some old equipment that we have in our public education program. And it's a live fire, fire extinguisher trainer. This is a great piece of equipment, but it's very hard to set up. It has uh, propane and water requirements. And this new piece of equipment that we've got is much easier to set up, much more user friendly. And we're looking to supplement that with this new piece of equipment. Okay, folks, so what we have here is our new virtual reality fire extinguisher trainer. It's state of the art, provides a very realistic uh, fire extinguishing training scenario. It provides numerous scenarios, which we couldn't get with our previous extinguisher trainer. Uh, it's very easy to set up and takes much less space. And we're really excited to show you how this thing works. Okay, so we have Mr. Brownie here with us. Uh, he's gonna be our demonstrator today. He's also a member of our fire prevention team here at Edwards Air Force Base. As you can see, he's modeling our lovely VR fire extinguisher trainer here. He's got a, a lifelike looking extinguisher uh, with the nozzle. And then the headset is what provides him what you see in the background. All right, so folks, Mr. Brownie's gonna demonstrate how this virtual reality extinguisher training works. As you can see, you have a big menu button up here and a lot of different scenarios. And then we're gonna pick a microwave fire. As you can see, Mr. Brownie's got a fire going on there. He has to pick the correct extinguisher for what the fire is. Mr. Brownie's gonna pick a dry chem because that's what we have in most of our buildings. And then he's gonna go up and actually try to put it out. And as you can see, it's very interactive. If you move around, that's why you need a lot of room and somebody to watch your participant to make sure that they don't run into anything. So I'm gonna have Mr. Brownie pick the incorrect extinguisher and show you what happens if you pick the incorrect extinguisher. Now we've created a flash fire because water is not the correct extinguisher to put out a grease fire. So Mr. Brownie would not have passed this and we would restart this scenario. And Mr. Brownie would have to pick the correct extinguisher this time because we would retrain and tell them which extinguisher is correct, which is a wet chemical or an ABC extinguisher. And as you can see, when Mr. Brownie picks up the correct extinguisher, he extinguishes the fire. All right, so at this point, uh, Mr. Brownie has extinguished two fires, a residential and a business fire. As you can see, there are many more categories that we can specialize and tailor to your specific facility and your occupancy that you have that we travel out to visit with you. There's a few other things that I should talk about. Up at the top, uh, we have the extinguishers tab. And this was uh, provided to tell people what you can use these different extinguishers to extinguish, the different types of materials. This is a good learning tool if we wanted to talk to the class about what type of extinguishers work best on different types of materials. If Mr. Brownie will go up to technique, Everybody knows we like to talk about the pass method for fire extinguishers. This can teach the person, the wearer, and even the class that's watching it if we have it projected, the pass technique. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. That's the conclusion of our demonstration. I'm very excited about this new equipment. Uh, it's state of the art. It's going to be very easy to set up and bring to your workplace and uh, provide training for you. Uh, you can get a hold of us if you want to schedule some training with this new equipment at 661-277-3124. That's the Fire Prevention Office. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram at Edwards underscore FES. And thanks a lot for your time.